Okay, for number 3, we are going to take the derivative with respect to x of the equation 4x squared plus 5x minus 6 all over x plus 2. And by the look of this equation, it suggests us that we have to use the quotient rule, right? Um, however, keep in mind, if you do any algebra, if we can do any algebra before you do a calculus, your equation will be much easier to work with. And this is how you should do it. Notice that the 4x squared plus 5x minus 6, it's actually factorable. And let me show you how to do it. The way I like to factor is by the tic tac -toe method, as I always like to show you guys in the class, that you pretty much just draw the tic tac -toe box. But this is just nothing but just a fancy way to guess and check. And for how to do this, 4x squared, I just need to think about what times y is equal to 4x squared, and the correct combination will be 4x here and the x. Of course, you can try 2x and 2x, but let me just tell you, 4x and x will work. And then right here, you have to think about what times 4 will be negative 6, and you can think about 6 times negative 1, 3 times negative 2, things like that. And the correct combination will be negative 3 times 2, and you will put negative 3 here, positive 2 right here. And the way that we're going to check if this combination will work out is, you take 4x, you multiply by 2. 4x times 2, that gives you ax. And then you take negative 3, multiply with x. So negative 2 times x is just negative 3x. And notice that 8x combined with negative 3x does give you positive 5x. And that's how you know you got the right combination. Then to write your answer, the factor form is you read it across. The answer is 4x minus 3 for the factor form, not really like the answer. We haven't done a calculus yet. And the second one is x plus 2. This is a positive 2. That's why it's a plus 2. So that's how you should factor. So looking at this, let me just rewrite the equation again. To take the derivative of 4x squared plus 5x minus 6 all over x plus 2. This is the same as saying take the derivative and the numerator as what we found is just 4x minus 3 times x plus 2 over the bottom is x plus 2. Notice that what happened? We have an x plus 2 on the top and that can cancel out with the x plus 2 on the bottom. And that's why I said if you do any algebra first, you will find a lot of surprise. So now we just need to take the derivative of the equation 4x minus well, the expression 4x minus 3. And how do you take the derivative of this? This is just the basic product rule. Well, I mean the, the quotient, the power rule. Well, the answer is just, I don't need to pretty much do any work. The derivative of 4x is just 4, the derivative of negative 3 is just 0, so the answer is just 4. That's all you need to do, okay? That's all you need to do. And as you can see, the answer choice, the correct answer choice is B. That's it.